Evening world, it's six o'clock in the evening on the 1st of May 2014. <clears throat> Approximately two and a half years ago, as a joke, I started doing videos for YouTube. Approximately 18 months ago, just to see what would happen, I stopped writing my daily blogs and I started recording daily vlogs, video logs. I can only tell you what the YouTube statistics show me. And that is that in the last four months, I've quintupled my viewing figures. There's 200,000 of you every month out there now. That means there's about eight or 9,000 separate individuals watching my YouTube stuff at least once a month, if not 30 times a month. And I can only say thank you to all you people out there. But I tell you, since I've been doing these videos, something's really occurred to me about the nature both of astrology and the way in which it's delivered. People always said to me, what do you want from astrology? And I always said, I want the impossible. I want on my epitaph, on my gravestone, the words to say, he tried to get astrology taught in all schools. Because that's what I want. I want astrology taught in schools because I know that if that's done, then within two generations, there will be an end to warfare and religious divide across the world. <clears throat> and I thought, well, that's a pipe dream. And then as someone pointed out to me six months ago, what have I been doing in the last six months, in the last year with my daily videos? I've been semi-educating the world with astrology. Thank you. Thank you all the anonymous technological people who without even knowing what they're doing have given me the facility to use this medium. And thank you to all the audience out there who after 1,000 videos have actually really helped me learn a great deal about astrology. In that light, I've made a couple of big revelations. One is concerning the nature of karma and the nature of purpose and why we are here, the, the real reason for humanity's existence, both collectively and individually. And I've completely rephrased my ways of working with and dealing with the point in astrology that's called the North Node. And I will go over this in depth over the coming weeks and the notion of fate versus free will. But during my studies of this and after 30 years of struggling with it, I finally, within this last six months, again, courtesy of a lot of you people out there, made the jump of faith and realized that, OK, astrology is not a dry subject. Astrology is not an it. At the risk of derision from all my astrological peers and academic equals, I've chosen to personify astrology. Astrology is now, in my book anyway, a she, feminine. And one of the things I've realised since I made this discovery is that, A, she has an absolutely wicked sense of humour. And B, people do not find astrology or choose astrology astrology finds or chooses them so <clears throat> certainly if you want to put your child into a career that will be very hard work very painful very enduring but also very successful in the long term train them up as an astrologer in that light it's well known that astrologers don't mate well in captivity it's well known Put, put a bunch of astrologers in a room, you're bound to get disagreements sooner rather than later. In that light, because this is my thousandth video, I decided to launch a competition. Now, this will only last for a few weeks. This will last until the 15th of May, when, after the full moon with Scorpio, and just before Mars stops going retrograde. So I'll be promoting this big time. I am looking for the best collective name for a group of astrologers. In return for the best name, I will give out, to the best suggestion, I will give a free half hour reading on either current transits or astrocartography or anything you want to the person that comes up with the best name for a collective group of astrologers. And to the second best name, I'll give a copy of my book. I've got about 15 hardback copies left and I'll give a copy of that to the second best name. Just so as you have an idea, I'm already dealing with things like a conjunction of astrologers, a stellium of astrologers, an argument of astrologers, uh, a consternation and a constellation and a forecast of astrologers. All of these are out there, but you know, there's room. 
What is the best name for a group of astrologers? Best answer in the come two weeks gets a free reading with me. Thank you for all the support over 1,000 videos. It's just gone like that. Here's to the next thousand. Catch you later. Bye.